Hey, this is Kez Bracey for Tuts Plus. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to get an Adobe Illustrator file into Figma. So let's say you're browsing Invito Elements and you see some cool icons like this that you want to use. You look down here and you can see that this is an Adobe Illustrator file, but you want to use it in Figma, which doesn't have the capacity to directly import or open Adobe Illustrator files. So Figma can't open Adobe Illustrator files, but Adobe XD can. And Adobe XD is free, so you can use it without needing to have a paid subscription to Creative Cloud. So all you have to do is jump into XD, hit this Your Computer button to browse for a file that's on your computer, and then open up the .ai file that you downloaded from Elements or wherever else you found your Illustrator file. From here, what we're going to do is use a plugin to copy these vectors into SVG format, which we'll then be able to paste into Figma. So I'm going to grab this book by itself here. You can actually select the entire document and copy the whole thing into Figma, but you won't get any of the any of the groups that are inside the document that way. All the shapes and paths are all just going to be in one big stack, so it can be a bit easier if you just select the sections that you want to work with one at a time. So we'll go with this book. I'm just going to double click until I get focus on the book here, and then I'm going to toggle the visibility to make sure that I've got the right thing which I do. Now I'm going to hit this menu here. We're going to go into the plugin section and what you'll need to do is go to discover plugins. From here, search for copy SVG. Now I already have this plugin installed, but you're going to see an install button here. Go ahead and install it. Then making sure that you have the vector that you want to carry over selected, go back up into this menu choose plugins and now go to copy SVG code. Now, this box is going to pop up. This doesn't serve any functional purpose. You don't have to worry too much about what is going on with this box. It's just a helpful tool so you can paste what you've just copied into the box and make sure everything looks right before you go use that SVG code somewhere else. And it's actually quite good that that's here because I have noticed that sometimes for a reason that I don't know, the first time that you copy the code, nothing shows up. So if I paste, I actually, I'm not getting anything showing up in this field. So I'm actually going to need to do this a second time. So I'm going to close that and just pay attention to the fact that this has reselected the top level of the document. So I'm just going to need to go in and reselect that book again. We'll just double click until we get into the right level. Now let's do that again. Plugins, copy SVG code and we'll paste. And this time we've got a bunch of SVG code. So now we can go into Figma and all we have to do is paste and there's our vector. And that's fully retained all of the stretchy vector properties. And you can now edit this within Figma in the way that you would edit any other vector illustration. So that is how you can get an Adobe Illustrator vector image into Figma without needing to be subscribed to Adobe Illustrator. I hope that tip helped you out. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.